Hello. Today's message is confessing our impatience. Now, if you have read uh, Exodus chapter 32, verses 1 through 14, you would realize that basically um, what happened is the people of Israel, they were sitting around the mountain waiting for Moses to come down because Moses was up top talking to the big guy in the sky and they were writing up the Ten Commandments. So that way they had some rules that they could follow because beforehand they couldn't remember how to be God's people. So the people got impatient. They were like, dude, where's our leader? What are we supposed to do? We're scared. We're frightened. And they decided to go to Aaron. And they're like, Aaron, we need something because obviously Moses is not around. He left us abandoned. This God, you know, we're not really sure that he's with us because we're left alone. Uh, and so they got impatient and they created the golden calf. Have you ever been impatient? Have you ever felt the need and you did something and you were like, oh, I shouldn't have done that? That happens to almost every one of us, um, whether it's, you know, finding the perfect job or waiting for the right person or doing something, right? Um, when we were kids, you know, we were impatient because we had dessert, you know, we wanted to eat the good stuff first. And then we would, you know, so basically impatience happens to all of us. We're human beings. So when we talk about confessing our impatience, it's kind of like, why do we want to confess something that we feel guilty about? Why do I want to do something like that? But here's the reason why. Here's why we need to confess our impatience. Here's why we need to say, hey, you know, I acted impulsively. I shouldn't have. I should have waited till you know it was the right time it's because not only is it going to be healing for you you're going to get that burden that guilt off your chest but it's also going to let god know that you know you realize that sometimes you're not going to make the right decisions and here's the thing everyone does it right even God was kind of impatient sometimes. There was a story that I read where basically um, God had felt impatient and he he reacted in a situation that he wished he didn't. Uh, and that happened to be with some of his sons, or actually not sons, some of the angels that he was with. And he when he did that, he had this guilt that was put on, on, on his chest. So God understands that sometimes we do things that are impatient, that we act impulsively, and that we need to calm down and slow ourselves down before we make choices. And I think that's the big thing God wants us to do. Yes, we have freedom of choice. We can do whatever we want. But sometimes we need to slow down, look at the bigger picture. You know, whether it's accepting that job that you just got in the your inbox saying that you're going to make $40,000 or higher, you know, triple digits, something like that. And not reading the fact that what you'd have to do is you'd have to leave the area and go live in Alaska or someplace that you would find intolerable. Sometimes we need to slow down and look for those details. Is that going to be a good choice for me? Is that going to be get me to the goal that I want? make those decisions take a look at it be cautious i mean not everything that you're going to get thrown your way is going to be bad there are going to be a lot of great things that's coming your way but instead of acting impulsively instead of accepting that thing that basically shines in your face ta-da! take a moment of breath slow down is that going to be something that i really want to be involved with because if you take that moment to slow yourself down you will have a better understanding of how that will fit with your life and your relationships. That's all God wants us to do, I believe, if we just slow down. And then sometimes when we do act impulsively and we make a decision like eating, I don't know, ice cream after a huge meal and then all of a sudden have a tummy ache, eh, you know, that does happen. But we need to confess that sometimes we lack that ability to slow down and look at the situation for what it truly is. So in closing, I want to thank you guys for paying attention. I appreciate you guys tuning into my messages. I uh, hope that you get something that you like out of it. 
as usual, if you like what I'm doing, if you have a comment, suggestion, leave it down below. Um, and as always, may God bless you and uh, may his love shine through. Thank you so, so much. Bye.